Welcome back to Castle Ravenloft. We're playing Adventure 6 Destroy the Dracolich, and we're in trouble. We're in big trouble. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be doing two characters uh, today. I don't have a lot of time. We're going to be doing um, Emeril, our wizard, and then we will be doing Alyssa, and that will be our episode for today. So it is Emeril's turn. Uh, he's right here, and he is going to attack the skeleton first and then he'll move afterwards so let's take a look and see uh, I think he's gonna go ahead and use the magic missile because it gives him plus eight and does one damage attack a monster within three tiles of you so no problem there uh, and if the if you miss the monster and it's more than a tile away it moves a tile towards you so even if he misses the skeleton it's not gonna move because it's only one tile away not more than one tile so let's go ahead, I'm going to get out the dice tray, rearrange the camera a little bit. We're going to roll up and we're going to see if our wizard with the uh, magic missile can take out our skeleton. Alright, I back the camera up just a little bit so I can get the dice tray in there. And let's see what our wizard can do. He gets an 8 plus uh, 8 plus 8 is 16. And wow, the skeleton's armor class is 16, so he just barely takes the skeleton out. Uh, that's going to give us a total of three experience now. So the skeleton is destroyed, uh, and that's going to net um, our wizard, well, it's going to net our entire party a treasure card. And the treasure card is a potion of healing. How awesomely appropriate. We are actually going to give that Potion of Healing to Arjan, our fighter, because he's down three hit points already. So Arjan's going to have a Potion of Healing. Excellent stuff. Uh, and now we can move our wizard. Now, of course, if he ends his turn on the same tile as another uh, adventurer, the end of his turn, he's going to end up taking one wound. So he can go one, two, three, four, five, six. He could actually get all the way up here, explore that way. So why don't we go ahead and do that? One, two, three, four, five. He has a movement of six. I should have mentioned that. So I'm going to readjust the camera and we're going to explore the tile just to the north here because that's our next step at the end of the adventure phase. All right, so pretty far out shot because we have a tile to place and it's going to be this one. And oh my good Lord, it's another black triangle space. Gall, damn it. That's going to mean another encounter card. But before we do that, of course, we need to have a monster. Oh boy. So our monster card is going to be a Grave Hound. Ooh, two hit points. Armor class 12. Wow. All right, let's get the Grave Hound out here. Uh, let me just, I'm going to have to turn the camera off to find it, and we'll be right back. All right, so I found the lovely Grave Hound, and it's going to show up in the bone pile. Now we are into the villain phase. And unfortunately it says uh, if you didn't place a, a tile during the exploration phase or if you placed a tile with a black triangle, you draw an encounter card. Oh my good God. So this is the third encounter card in a row from three turns in a row. Leaf Leap Siege. Um, you try to distract Leaf. Roll a die. If you roll a 1 to 10, you scare Leaf and he calls for help. Place a new monster on the active hero's tile. Oh crap. 11 to 20 is draw a treasure card. So, there's some luck there. And there is some flavor text on that card that I didn't have my glasses on to read. So, why don't we have a take a, a little closer look at that. Uh, it says, a gnarled old man dressed as a clerk steps from the shadows. I watch the master's treasure, at least I do, unless I'm disturbed. Okay, so an old dude shows up. Um, and so we're going to get out the dice tray. I'm just going to roll it, I guess, right here. We are looking for a high number. And we get a 12. Oh, hell yeah. And that means uh, we get an 11 to 20. We draw a treasure card. So he gives us a treasure card. I cannot believe that that encounter was actually good for us wow all right so we get to draw a treasure card for uh, well for the whole party anyway uh action surge uh, you can move your speed or make uh or make an attack wow so we can make an attack so cool which means uh, it's a fortune so it means that our wizard can actually take another attack so he can try and knock out the uh, wow, this is very, very good. Try to knock out the Gravehound immediately. Well, not knock him out. 
Well, can he knock him out? Let's take a look at his cards. He might be able to. Um, he No, they all do one damage. Magic Missile and Scorching Burst. Well, he could do one of his big attacks, but then he would have to flip it over. Uh, he could do Lightning Bolt. Oh, do we want to do that? Uh, he does have the Potion of Rejuvenation. He could flip Lightning Bolt over. Gravehound has two health. You know what? I think... Oh my god, this might be a waste of his card. He's going to go ahead and do Lightning Bolt. And that's plus seven. Do two bat damage, one if you miss, but he's going to have to flip the card over. Gravehound... Gravehound. The Gravehound only has an AC of 12. So let's go ahead. We're going to roll this up again. Come on. Let's see what we get. Plus seven. 19 and 726. Oh yeah, he blows the Gravehound to bits. So not no sooner does it show up, but uh, our wizard gets an action surge. So cool. Taking the Gravehound out to experience. We now have a total of five experience points, which is really good uh, for if we want to cancel uh, one of these cards, which we didn't need to do this time. And so, wow, that's going to be basically the end of our wizard's turn. And the, it'll, if there's a villain to play, activate, activate each monster you control. Uh, and then, yeah. And so our wizard controls no monsters. Wow, that was a fantastic turn for the wizard. He did have to flip over that power though, but he has Potion of Rejuvenation to flip it back over again. Wow. Up next, which can't see her, we're going to have Alyssa take a turn. And that will be very quickly. Oh, and we have to look at Deadly Shadows too, but he is not on a tile with um, any of the other heroes. So let's have Elissa now take her turn. Wow, that was extremely good luck. Although we're a little bit trouble with Elissa now. She can go this way and explore off to this side. I kind of want to have her... Um, damn, she's going to be on the same tile as... One, two, three, four, five. Oh, hang on, six. Can you go through other characters? One, two, three, four, five. She could get here and explore this tile up at the very top. If you can walk through other characters, which I think you can. I just don't think you can stop in their space. I'm going to check the rules quickly. Uh, sorry, so because what we want, what I'm trying to do is she can go one, two, three, four, five, six. I think you can go across walls like that. I have to check the movement rules. Like again, I said, it's been quite a while. I'll be right back with the decision as to what she's going to do for the start of her turn. And I don't need to check the rules because she's just going to move twice. There's nothing to fight uh, anyway. So she's got a movement speed of six. <laughs> so we can actually go one, two, three, four, five, six. Then she can move again. One, two, three, four. No problem at all. So I'm going to come right back. We're going to explore this tile uh, and see what we get. All right, that Deadly Shadows card is really causing me issues, but we are going to be exploring here now. Uh, so it's the exploration phase, and oh my god, another, another black triangle. Holy god. All right, we need to draw a monster card off top of the deck for Alyssa, for the monster. Then we're going to be doing an encounter. Wow. It's a spider, a little spider, vermin. All right, so we're going to put a spider there. Um, I need to dig one out of the box. And got one. Spider shows up there. Hmm. All right, that's basically the end of the exploration phase. We're into the villain phase. Did we draw a tile with a black triangle? Of course we did. This is how many. Now, we do have five experience. We can bounce the encounter if we want. And I'm seriously almost thinking about, well, we'll see what it is. We'll see how bad it is. Oh, it's a blood fog, which will get rid of the deadly shadows. All right, let me, let me see if this is a one we want to keep. Uh, mystical uh, reddish fog brings out the inner animal and the living and the dead. If there's an environment card already in play, discard it. The environment card remains in play. Okay, this is whenever a hero or monster attacks and rolls a natural 17 or higher, the target of the attack takes one additional damage. I'm kind of liking that. I like it better than this one. So you know what? We're going to get rid of the Deadly Shadows. We're going to go ahead and we're going to keep that bloody, bloody fog. So we're not going to bounce it, which means we do get to keep... Um, we do get to keep our... Uh, as I don't know what I'm talking about. We do need to keep uh, that one in play now. So we got rid of the other one. 
what I meant is we don't have to keep our uh, players separate on separate tiles now. That's actually not terrible. Although we can start taking extra damage from monsters, but we can also do extra damage. So it's kind of a one for one uh, trade off. All right, that is the exploration phase. Or sorry, the start of the villain phase. So we did the uh, black triangle. We drew an encounter card. The villain's in play, it's not. And then we activate the monsters. All right, so we have to activate that spider. What's the spider do? If the spider's adjacent, it's not. If the spider's within one tile here, it attacks across the hero with an acidic web, plus 11. One damage and slowed. Uh, but does it do two? Well, it only does two if it rolls 17 or higher on a natural 17. That's a natural, so yes, natural 17. Wow, okay. Plus 11, doing one and slowed. Uh, and then you place the spider adjacent to the hero. Oh boy. All right, let's uh, let's get out the dice tray. And yeah, we're going to do it on this side here so we can see it. Let's see what the spider does. Roll low. That is a three. Oh my god, did the spider miss? Did the spider miss? Three and 11 is 14. And Alyssa's armor class is 15. Wow, the spider missed. Um, so what happens? You get one damage and slow. Place the spider adjacent to the hero. But what if it misses? Uh, if it, it attacks close here with an acidic web. I don't know if we move. I don't think we move the spider adjacent to the hero because it missed with its web. Because you do the text, you do the stuff in the box if it succeeds and it didn't. So it's just going to sit where it is. It shot the acidic web and failed. Wow, did we get lucky. Holy bananas. All right. That, I think, basically wraps up our episode for today. Because, like I said, again, I don't have a lot of time as I put my glasses away, making a bunch of noise off screen. Um, I don't think I messed up anything. Did I get treasure cards? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yes, I did, because he killed the... Uh, oh, he killed the Gravehound. Didn't get another treasure card, I don't think. He got the treasure card for taking out the skeleton. I missed a treasure card, didn't I? Didn't I? Didn't I? I think I did. Because um, he ended up getting the potion of healing, which he gave to Arjan. That was for the skeleton, but I don't think we got the treasure card. If I did, I'll just resend this at the end of the start of the next episode. I don't think he got the second treasure card for taking out the Gravehound. I got so excited about taking it out. Uh, so here we go. He gets Eagle Eyes. Fortune. Play this fortune immediately. Uh, place one tile from the top of the dungeon tile stack adjacent to any unexplored edge. Place any new monsters in the tile as normal. But do not draw an encounter card. Oh, that really messes stuff up, doesn't it? Because uh, he shouldn't have drawn the encounter card, which gave him the treasure card. Uh, oh man, this is really messed up. Um, I think we're just going to... I guess we're just going to leave that on top. That really sucks. <laughs> but that that is just missing a treasure card. So that'll be the next treasure card. I'm going to just say we missed the treasure card. I'm going to take the treasure card deck and I'm going to shuffle it uh, for the beginning of the next episode. Uh, no! God damn it! I hate missing stuff and I miss, I'm sure I missed that. I'm really sure I didn't draw a treasure card for the Gravehound. And if I did then um, I've reshuffled the treasure deck, so all is good. And if I didn't, I'll just say I missed it, and we reshuffled the treasure deck. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to change the camera angle a little bit here. We're going to we're going to wrap up for today. All right, well, we got rid of that rotten environment. We have the bloody fog now, so i got to remember that. We're all spread out, of course. we got one spider that shot a web at Alyssa Mist, and we had... Um, yeah, I'm sure I missed a treasure card, but I can't do anything about it now. Actually... Uh, no, I, I wouldn't have, hmm, I wouldn't have drawn the encounter card. Anyway, whatever. I'm not, I'm just going to leave it off there. I'm not going to worry too much about it. We will pick it up in the next episode, starting with our fighter, uh, who is a long ways away from everything going on. Uh, but, uh, we are on the hunt for the Dracolich. Alyssa is at 8 health of a, of a total of 10. Arjan, our fighter, is at 7 health of a total of 10. And Imrel, uh, untouched. So far, he got really lucky uh, being able to take the Gravehound out before it could attack us. And we have five experience points in 
monsters slain built up already so we can either level up if we roll natural 20 or we can bounce an encounter so thanks so much for watching along thanks for your comments subscriptions likes really appreciate it this is castle ravenloft we're doing adventure 6 destroy the dracolich so thanks so much and we'll see you in the next episode